Hello guys, in this video we will be going to discuss how we can deploy an fast API app on the AWS Lambda and expose it with the help of API Gateway. Okay, so before starting, uh, I am assuming you already have an pre-written fast API application code that is working on your local machine. Okay, so I will show you the uh, quick example like I have this one in which I am just importing the UVCon and importing the fast API and then after creating a app, then after creating a route point slash basically on the root route point then after I am just returning the uh, like a quick JSON and then I am running it on the local machine so if I ran it here uh, if I ran it here I can access it on my local uh, machine right in this way so the application is accessible on the port 8000 and it is returning welcome to my fast first fast API deployment on AWS Lambda okay so now let's see we let's see how we can uh, deploy the same fast API application on the AWS Lambda. Okay, so what we will do, we will use AWS Lambda as a first component and second as API gateway. Okay, so the issue is whenever a request came, it will be served by the API gateway. Okay, a request came to the API, then this API gateway will be responsible for sending this request to the AWS Lambda on which our fast API application will be running and then after any any response it will get from the AWS Lambda it will return to the user okay so the issue is the request coming from the API gateway is an HTTP request while fast API needs ASDI requests okay so to convert this HTTP I mean the request coming from the REST API HTTP request to the ASDI request we need an external library called Mangum okay similarly the fast API returns a ASDI response while REST API needs Lambda response to return it back to the user. Okay, so this Mangum will be again responsible for converting ASGI response to Lambda response. Okay, so this just it is just like Mangum is uh, behaving as an converter, like convert the HTTP to ASGI and then at the last convert the ASGI response to the Lambda response. Okay, I hope this makes you clear. Let's quickly jump over to the AWS Lambda console and we will create the AWS Lambda and then then after we will create the API gateway okay so I will uh, my bad I am I think I'm just creating the old sort of things so I will refresh it yeah so I will create a new function in which I will type fast API app select the runtime as python 3.11 and then after create the function okay so I think it will be created uh, in some time so uh, yeah so this has been created so what we will do we will simply go and copy this code that we have already that we have already okay here what we will do the code which is working on the local is required uvcon to run this app right but on the laid up the lambda we don't need this uvcon okay so we will delete these two lines in which we are importing the uvcon and which in which we are running the kind of uh, uvcon dot run right we don't need it so what we will do like the change we will first import the mangum from the capital mangum and then after we are in the similar way we create the fast api app and just add this app inside this handler okay we just need two lines the first line is we are importing and the another line is we are creating the handler for mangum okay then what we need to do is we will uh, deploy this application okay after that this is pretty obvious in order to run this code we need fastapi and mangum on the aws lambda and we don't have this library so we, we need a layer right but what i have done is i have already pre-written a layer for you if you need any help in that you can watch out the another kind of uh, like how to create the aws lambda layer so what we will do, what we will do, we will copy this ARN and uh, we will come back here and we will add this layer, okay. So we will verify this and just add it, okay. So one point to be share is like uh, I have this two dependency majorly. The first one is fast API and the second one is Mangum, okay. Make sure you are not the like at the time of this creating this video, like the fast API latest version is creating some issue in the AWS Lambda. So it's better to have this uh, it's better to have this older version like it's a little older and then the mangum library okay we just need two major dependencies okay 
so that's the thing i think we have added successfully another thing we need to do is if you see here the here like we the starting kind of a starting point for the for the running this lambda is this handler okay so what we will do is we will scroll down then after we will edit the handler function and here we will kind of change it with the handler right so we have just i think remove the lambda handler and rename it as a handler okay so we will save it again okay then we will quickly jump over to the api gateway and i will create a new api gateway for you we need to create the stdb i mean sorry rest api gateway the reason being is we will be going to use the proxy rest api gateway so if you don't know what is proxy proxy is basically any request come to your api gateway api gateway just uh, uh, share that same api with your aws lambda function it will not going to do any change okay so i will do rest then after new api select the fast api app gateway okay then after i will just create all the create the api keep the keeping all the configurations default in this we what we need to do we will go to the action then after we will create a method in which we will select the any method so any is basically any request get would post delete okay so what we wanted to do if any request come we wanted to use the lambda function right so uh, lambda function we will pass the name fast api app and we will select and save it okay so this we have done but the problem is uh, we are kind of wanted to if, if we use this okay this just a single slash the only root route will be going to work but we what we need is uh, like let's say we have an api with slash name slash users so slash users slash uh, um, xyz okay so we wanted to work the work with the sub routes as well so what we will do we will create a resource as well below that and then after configuration proxy resource again and we will just create the resource okay and once done we will again going to use the same fast api app lambda and we will just save it okay then after we will going to deploy this api deploy api i will create a new stage select the stages dev and deploy it yeah so we got the url and i will copy this and just paste it here okay so here we got the response if you have any other routes as well so you can try with that okay just adding the adding at the last okay so in this way we can host the uh, fast api on the aws lambda if you have any queries or question please post it down in the comment section thank you